couple of minutes we're just trying to get set up on the facebook pages and then we will be ready to go so go and make yourself a cup of tea while dear is just tweaking around there doing her techno as we call it getting all technical and getting us set up on all the pages are you ready to go dear yes Beth? we're live five four three two one good morning everybody happy friday there's always a little bit of a time delay because obviously we're trying to get across all the platforms at the same time. So normally Deirdre sets up the YouTube first, then the Instagram and then the Facebook. So hopefully you're all live and you're all able to see us. So how's everybody keeping? I haven't done the weather forecast in ages Deirdre. So let's no. do the weather forecast around the country and around the world because this weekend is supposed to be fabulous. Okay, so so far in Dublin today. Friday morning, sun is shining, sky is not real blue, but it's getting there. You know, the sun is shining, there's a little bit of heat out there. If you're on the shaded side of the road, which we are, we're on the shaded side of the road, it is a that little bit cool. But you know what I mean? Once you cross over that south circular road to the opposite side, you'd nearly think you're in the Bahamas. Now, nearly, you know, that way you probably have to put on your sunglasses and close your eyes at the same time, but still, we're getting there. But the weather is definitely not shite, that's what I can say. It's definitely not shite in Dublin. And we're planning, um, Deirdre's actually going to be a big 51 this weekend. Last year she missed out on her 50th. So we're hoping to, because she's had her vaccination, mum and dad have had their vaccination, I haven't, so I'll have to sit kind of on a chair all on my own, in my own little bubble. But we're hoping to probably pop up to her garden and have a few drinks on Saturday evening. Uh, so yeah, so we've Emma is watching in and she says it's sunny in the dock. She's out getting the barbecue cleaned up. I hope somebody's cleaned up my barbecue for me. That's what we want, uh, yeah. Virginia said it's a beautiful day in Kildare. We have, who we be watching in? Eileen is watching in from Birmingham Hi, and Eileen, it's a lovely sunny day as well. And there was somebody else there that I just wanted to shout out who were they you again? know there's nothing like a bit of good weather like we could definitely do with it you know that way remember like this time last year when we went into lockdown oh annie the, the florist is watching in from belfast hey, and the hey, weather annie, is lovely up you? there too steel is it annie yeah. marie steel how are you big big hello to you so today uh we are going to have um a couple of giveaways um what are we giving away today dear the, so on to the, the for the classes i can't remember what oh the wreath making course okay so we're going to be giving the away wreath. the door wreath making course completely free to somebody uh, across all the platforms and she never know with Deirdre she could give it away to two people on each of the platforms but there's definitely one to give away on YouTube one to give away on Facebook and one to give away on Instagram haven't got a clue what the question is going to be we'll think of something as we go along so you know us everything is nice and just relax if it happens it happens what does me jumper say perfection or imperfections is it perfectly imperfect perfectly imperfect things that just happen nothing has to be perfect but what we do have now this is for our instagram followers but we're not going to announce the winner until monday so that's given all the facebook and youtube followers to pop over to instagram over the weekend and all you have to do is what did we say just tag somebody tag in. tag a friend and yeah tag a friend Tag maybe Saint Tropez, maybe tag 11 Pure Events because they were actually the company that gave us the gift. So you'll have your tanning mitt and there's a couple of different bottles of um, serums and creams and moisturizers for getting yourself all brown. So anybody that doesn't want to sit out in the sun over the weekend, at least then get in and exfoliate on Friday night and you can spend the weekend rubbing false tan into here. So we definitely have that then for one of our Instagram followers. But listen, everybody will be able to enter over on the Instagram page and you can either go to my page or Deirdre's page and just let you know I'm looking for two more followers on my page so that I get 4,000 followers so I really think they should come to my page first mm, Flower School my birthday. Dye, well it's Deirdre's birthday why don't you pop to the two of them anyway <laughs> say something um, as I said maybe tag 11 PR events uh, maybe tag Saint Tropez or maybe tag a friend. We're keeping it really, really casual, do you know the way? And as I said, we pick somebody randomly on Monday and we announce that on Monday. Any questions that you have, obviously about false tan, post them in the comments below. Of course we'll be able to answer them. No, we won't. <laughs> Haven't got a clue. Okay, the other thing is last week we talked about the agri wall and we got amazing feedback from everybody. And like amazing feedback is and everybody is dying to know how did it work out. So during the week, um, it was like um, a science lab here during the week, wasn't it? <laughs> we were experimenting, okay? And I'm just going to touch a little bit on it today because we have a lot more. And plus, I've made lots of videos, experimental videos, uh, videos making the arrangements where they were really, really successful, uh, um, videos making the arrangements where they were 
pure shite, being honest. They were completely unsuccessful. So it's just kind of finding out what displays worked better, what flowers worked better, you know, that way. And as I said, we have a lot more to add. And eventually, dear, you will put these videos up on the YouTube. Maybe? Yeah, I'll probably stick them up on YouTube. I might do a page on the website just specifically for Agri Wool. Because the there's loads, like we've absolutely loads and loads and loads of information. And tried and tested. So we, we have read a huge amount about it, but we felt that we had to yeah, do it ourselves. Yeah, I don't believe what everybody else tells you. I like to kind of make up my own mind on it, you know, that way. And where some people were saying, oh, it's brilliant for tall flowers and um, i had to disagree i didn't find it was brilliant for tall flowers and other people said it was brilliant for thick stemmed flowers and uh, i had to completely disagree i didn't find that all in my opinion now there was some really really positive and i suppose at the end of the day and um, i think yesterday was national earth day was yep. it or international earth day like this is all about protecting the environment okay so like currently like the flower foams that we use currently in flower shops okay are not biodegradable and even though there is one company and has one and they say it's biodegradable that there's only a very small percentage of it is biodegradable and that's only a place in a biodegradable landfill site where with this stuff here it's pure pure natural and like I was amazed like when we read up a little bit about it and um, that it's brilliant for your soil so when you're finished with it like you can basically like crumble it up and don't put it in a block now on in your garden but basically to crumble it up and when you're going to put it into your hanging baskets your window boxes or even just out on your grass or mixed into your soil or if you're planting a plant you know what I mean to put that down into the hole like crumpled up it's full of nutrients see me the ph level on it is seven which see me is what um soil actually needs and it's amazing you know that way and see me in agriculture because people were asking us why is it called agra agro wool you know that way and see me in dutch um agra is like agriculture you know the way you know the way we spell agriculture a-g-r-i but see me in dutch it's a-g-r-a so that's how it gets its name it's mostly used in agriculture um, horticulture as well they use it for planting flowers in so seemingly this was um discovered in 2017 but it was around 2020 everything happened in 2020 didn't it yeah they kind of found out that it was more of a natural floral base you know what i mean for flowers to use they are working on it i'd say there is a couple of things that can still be improved on it but i suppose it's a bit like um when floral foam came on the market first which i actually remember i am that old when floral foam came on the market first um like you know what i mean it has improved so much over and over the years so i'm not sure can they see this around um, no but i'll just fan around and you might just take I'll it just down it off the, yeah and maybe take it down off the turntable okay, well, yeah okay there we yeah, go yeah perfect so this was one i'm just moving things here for a second sorry so this was one of the arrangements am i okay yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. one of the arrangements that we made this is completely made in the agro wall okay so everything here and i've actually up well it's not actually uploaded yet but we're in the process of it okay so the step-by-step -step demonstration of this actual arrangement the full tutorial is all going to be uploaded onto our youtube channel and like as i'm making the arrangement i'll tell you like when i'm kind of something negative something positive what went wrong what was absolutely great about it what flares didn't work and what flares did work well, I was actually very happy with working with the agro wool for this particular arrangement. Now, a lot of the material was quite light in it, even though it might look large, it was quite light the material. So I'm using like the viburnum, I'm using different selections of the asparagus fern, and also I have like our anchurus. Somebody must be at the door there, I can hear Deirdre there shouting down there to somebody. So that's basically what it looks like. You okay, Deirdre? Yeah. Well, who's coming? Oh. Well... Who said the flowers can't get flowers for their birthday? Oh, Jodie, you're ready. Ah, isn't that lovely? Linda isn't that gorgeous? Ah, there, isn't that really nice now? Dear does have to get in a bouquet of flowers sent to her. So, I wonder who they're from. I wonder who they're from. There you go. Open the garden, let's see. It's a good hand type bouquet now. I'll tell you, I'll you, tell you I'll double check on it. <laughs> so, there you go. You see, this is what happens when you're alive. You never know what's going to happen. So, as I said, this is what the agro wool looks like. And oh, to give you from Mags down in Westport. Ah, big, big thanks, Mags. Mags Parker, Mags, what's her other Grimes. name? Grimes. Mags Grimes down in Westport. Uh, Dave is delighted. Thanks, Amelia. It looks fabulous. Really nice bouquet. Nearly as good as what our students did. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, so um, things that, like, basically about it, how does it hold up the water? It holds a good litre of water. When, I, when you feel it compared to a block of normal floral foam, it probably feels a little bit heavier. 
but when it actually is absorbed with water, it holds about the same amount of water, so just over a litre. Now, I found some of the water did run out of it, you know that way, and again, you'll see that in my experiment. I was as honest and as upfront with the experiments and kind of showed like what could happen and so on. But as I said, the negative points of it, you know what I mean, the negative things I found with them, Again, I kind of think it being sustainable, it being good for the environment, it being eco-friendly, I still think that probably over, you know, overcomes the negative points yeah. of it. Um, somebody asks, is it much more expensive? Yes. It is a lot more expensive. But listen, there is um it is available here in Ireland, you can buy it. The company hasn't actually got their link up on the website, but I'll have it I as soon as they get it because no point in me telling you where to go because obviously everybody will be ringing ringing them today. But it's twenty nine euros a box. I actually forgot to check was that plus the VAT or including the VAT. So I'm not a hundred percent on that. We did send them a message this morning, but they're obviously lazy buggers and they're still in bed and they haven't checked their social media. <laughs> She's probably listening here laughing. But 29 euros, uh, I'm not sure whether that's plus fat, by the way. And it's 7 euros delivery all over Ireland. And it's next day delivery. Now, and it's biggest... only sold by the box. Yeah, you have to buy the box. Of it. There's 20 but I wouldn't think it box. ages. Would it date the way foam would go I off? wouldn't say so, no. no. I Again, think because so. it's probably more of a natural, um, natural material, it's not going to go stale or go old. And one thing, as I said, I've loads of videos and loads of information to give you. You know that way. And I, you might kind of feel, God, she's teasing us here today but like i just wouldn't be able to cover it all in the live and not everybody is interested in the live anyway but you know what it's great for dried flower arrangements it's absolutely fantastic and the thing is you know the way normally with floral foam you have to buy the wet foam for fresh flowers and the dry foam for dried flowers this actually does both so i thought that was good and again you know what i mean a dry flower arrangement you know what i mean that you want it to last quite a long time it was brilliant for the dried and it was definitely easy to insert the material into it so if i if you were to say would i recommend it yes i would say probably buy a box you know that way anybody that's in the flower business anybody that's in a flower shop absolutely invest in a box and try it out i think it will be something anybody that's in flower shops maybe to sell by the block to the public it's obviously going to be more expensive the general public you know that way but um like if you want to just maybe buy a block if there as is any flare shops watching that are selling it, maybe they could like let us know here. And again, anybody. Or if there's any flare shops watching that are interested to find out who it is that's selling it, just drop us an email. Yeah. I'll have the link for it. I'll have the link yeah. for it, and you can just go direct to them. So that's the Agra Wall, and I know you're probably saying, God, she didn't give us loads of information there. But I, as I said, we have blogs, we have blogs, we have experiments, we have flower arrangements. You know the way we've loads of them. And as Deirdre said, she's probably going to dedicate a page, especially on the website, all to the Agra Wall, and we'll keep all them videos together. And then we'll also upload them all to YouTube, and they're all free. You won't have to pay for them. You'll be able to watch them. What you should make sure that you do is that you become one of our subscribers on our YouTube channel do you know that way because we're always uploading new videos to the youtube channel and again they're all free they are so i'm going to push this out of the way we're back up on the front here there we go and now what are we going to do today so i have this nice container right it's and yes i am going to use normal floral foam today because i'm going to use the stems of lilies i'm going to use proteas i'm going to use monstera leaves and they're all thicker stems and in my opinion i'm not knocking agri wool but it just wasn't brilliant for them thicker stems or for heavier material or for really arrangements using heavy flowers, okay? So that's why I'm using um, just normal traditional floral foam. And the floral foam, in case you're saying, God, how did I get the blocks so big? I'm using one of what they call the jumbo blocks. So you're probably used to, I actually have a block, a block of normal foam here. So you're used to probably seeing foam coming in this size block, like the agro wall, by the way, is roughly the same size. There's a fraction in the difference, okay, in the size. But like that's the size of your normal block of foam. So you can buy a block of foam that would be six times the size of this, okay? And that's called a jumbo block. And I have less than a half of a jumbo block in there. Now you might say, well, why would you use it? It's a much, much stronger and denser um, floral foam. So if you're doing something like for weddings or that, and you want to make them in your studio and then transport them, this is probably a better idea. 
Also, it holds the water longer, you know, that way, and it holds a lot more water. So there's a couple of, I wouldn't always use it, but for this design, I am going to use it. And because the flower foam is going right down into the container, okay, to save time, I have it strapped in already, but there's no, like, wedges or extra pieces. That is completely one block of foam. It's not even a full, um, jumbo block it's less than half of a jumbo block okay trimmed down and it's right down into the container it was just necessary to put one piece of anchor tape across it and i probably could have got away with it because it's quite heavy it is so they'd want to be a right gobshite now to turn this upside down that but that the arrangement would fall out of it so i'd probably get away without anchor taping it in um i see julie says she never knew you could buy jumbo blocks yeah a lot of people don't know we use it on module four so on module four, like when we do like our topiary trees and our um, pedestal arrangements, the contemporary large pedestals and that, I would use the jumbo blocks all the time. Out of a, you just write this down for yourself, out of a half of a jumbo block, it's actually possible to do a five foot flower arrangement, okay? So that'll tell you how strong it is. So you'd never get that with even three or four normal blocks of arrangement blocks of foam put together you'd never be able to make that size arrangement if you think like i'm five foot three i'm in high heels at the moment but in my bare feet i'm five foot three thereabout so if you imagine an arrangement nearly my height you know that way and a bit fatter than me i'm not that fat but a bit fatter than me you know that way like that's the sort of arrangement that you can make like you get a lot a lot of flowers into it like it's brilliant and also it's great for transporting like with large pedestals like for weddings hotels churches etc i always show my students how to lie them down on their backs okay it's hard for me to describe here today but we lie them down and then you drive to your venue and then you basically stand the arrangement back up the right way and nothing falls out do you know what i mean you swear there was something inside there sucking the stems into it it's just so strong and you could go over 20 speed ramps at 60 miles an hour and again the holes don't get bigger in the foam now that's just with jumbo foam some people call it designer blocks, okay? And that's just when you go into your wholesaler looking for it and they're saying, God, jumbo blocks, never heard of it. And um, other, some wholesalers, some flowers call it designer blocks. Now, don't get it mixed up with designer sheets because designer sheets is a completely different thing altogether. Like these would be kind of like very shallow, large sheets of flower foam, like come in different sizes. Like I think the largest one is about three foot by four foot. So it's a completely different shape completely different thing altogether just in case you get mixed up now what i have here is just to let you know there's loads of people loads and loads and loads of people wishing me happy birthday ah, so thank nice. you ah, there you go there. Um, just because and just maybe as a birthday present to me is might all share this yeah that'd be really <laughs> nice wouldn't it why don't you just go and click share and do it now you know that sort of thing. it literally takes two seconds click share and let's get the word out there or if you do know anybody that's interested in flowers remember you can tag them do you know that way and remember if you know anybody especially anyone with loads of teenagers they like l ones would love this as well but the teenagers should they love to be all tanned up with the saint tropez so tag them in it as well and let's get the word out there come on do us all a favor it is dear disparity yeah so what i have here are white um kind of like birch twigs and again you can go into your local flower shop and you can buy these twigs like no problem and they're brilliant because if you buy a couple of them like you know what i mean now that's not even a bunch of them but if you've just bought a couple of them they will last you for ages whether you store them in your spare room or even in your shed or your garage and they do come in different colors and anybody that's in the florist business i definitely recommend kind of like buying them so what i'm going to do is put in a few of them and i'm just bringing them up at the back of the arrangement slightly slightly tilted away for me i'll just turn that on the side that you can see what i mean there like a little bit of a fall and anybody that's been with me before here on the classes you know the way i'm always talking about lying back as if i nice and relaxed if i had a few drinks there like you're lying back slightly and uh, it's just i see the youtubers are saying that it's quite blurry and i went on and it is um, okay. I don't know what, I think our internet is acting up at the yeah. moment. Like I ended up this morning, I actually had to come off the broadband here in the school and just go on to my normal, I don't know what it's called, 4G or 3G or whatever, because we were having major problems. So apologies for this. I don't know, are you also on Facebook or Instagram? Would it take two seconds maybe pop over and join us on one of the other platforms maybe just to see? Or um, what about maybe cleaning the screen a little bit? Would that help? <laughs> Maybe actually, do you know what? Maybe I will just clean the screen. Hang yeah, on a maybe. second. So where's me? And maybe it, it is dirt on the screen. Hang on. But it doesn't look through my phone. Okay. So see. what I'm just doing there is just a couple no. of the... Is it a clean up a bit? No? Not really. No, not really. No. No. Okay. No. Sorry about that. So I, I think it's it's a Wi-Fi problem on our end, you know, yeah. that way. 
So there's absolutely nothing that we can do there. So I'm just bringing, as I said, a couple of twigs just up there at the back of the arrangement. And I'm just kind of like stepping a couple kind of like slightly in front of it. I don't want to overdo it. I know I have lots of foam, but I don't want to overdo it. I can add in more afterwards. So just going to turn that around just to kind of give you an idea. If it's anybody is taking notes, go on. No, they're just saying it's perfectly clear on Facebook. Yeah, it is perfect on Facebook because we're using our 3G on our phones, not the Wi-Fi. Yeah, so, so if you're on YouTube and you want to pop over to Facebook and um, you'll be it's able to perfect. yeah so if anybody wants to take notes I have approximately five stems of the twigs at the back and I've two then just kind of stepped forward a little bit to the front the things that you could use instead of the twigs would be maybe um I suppose cordyline leaves. I actually have some cordyline leaves here today. You know what I mean? So you could use something like your cordyline leaves. And um, Deirdre was supposed to bring me down some flax leaves this morning, but she forgot about it. She was that excited about her birthday. <laughs> <laughs> she was coming in to see did I buy her a present? I didn't buy her a present. And um, um, she forgot to get them. So I just had to go out to my back garden and just off the cordyline. And you know what I'd recommend? If anybody has a bit of space in their garden, plant yourself a cordyline tree because they're just brilliant. Like, you know, I mean, just to get kind of movement in arrangements. And if I have time, I'll show you what I can do with my stapler as well. So I probably am going to use a couple of them in the arrangements as well. Now, foliage wise, I have these gorgeous leaves, like monstera leaves. Now, again, they're very exotic looking. They look nearly like your cheese plant. So anybody that has a nice big house plant at home, you probably have big leaves like that. And they don't have to be quite as big. I did get a couple of fatsy leaves out of my own garden this morning. I was on the ball. Now, my fatsias aren't great at the moment. It's probably because um, fatsias thrive better in a shaded area. And where mine is, it's actually quite sunny. Now, I know it's shooting a lot of new leaf. I probably could do with a bit of a feed. So they're a bit kind of yellowy, my leaves. They wouldn't be the healthiest. So anybody that's watching there, no, I'll agree with you. The fatsies that I'll be using, they're out of my own garden and they're not the healthiest. Do you know what I should do is I should bring home some of that old agro wool. Yeah, actually. And I'll crumple up. That's what I yeah. am going to do. Um, somebody is just saying Virgin Media is down in some areas until two o'clock. So I'd say that's the problem. That could be the problem. Yeah. Okay. So what I'm going to do is over to one side of the arrangement. You see kind of on an angle there. And I brought that one there in front of the twigs. But I am going to add in another one or two kind of behind the twigs, kind of like slightly angled. And when I say slightly angled, should I bent and angled anyway? Can you see the shape of that one there? So it'll probably happen naturally to me. So I'm just coming in kind of slightly behind. And as I said, just to get a little bit of a 3D dimensional. What you don't want is your arrangement to look very flat looking. So sometimes by stepping material behind, that can actually help. And again, I'm just coming in between maybe the two of them. Again, just a slightly different angle again. And there we have three of them. So I'm just going to turn that around. And I'm not going to bother wiring them. I'm just leaving them as they actually are. And what I'm going to try and do now is kind of go diagonal across the arrangement. This, by the way, is not a very, it's not a formal arrangement. It is something that people can maybe copy at home. And if, obviously, you're not all going to have monstera leaves at home. But if you had some branches of laurel leaves, you know, like, like a branch of laurel with maybe five or six leaves on at the same time, you could have maybe a group of laurel leaves and then another group and then another group. And if you felt that you needed a fourth group, absolutely fine. But even clumps of the wild ivy, you know, with the big wild ivy, the bigger leaves on them. And anybody that has some seed heads on their ivy leaves, I'd recommend using that as well. And listen, when you do, if you do make anything at home, I'd absolutely love to see it. So why don't you post it over in the flowery fun group? Now, over in the flowery fun group, because I know we often have some of our students and they're um, posting some of their work there. Like we never um, give feedback or critique in the flowery fun group because it is a fun group. So the idea is that you can post your arrangement, whether you're a professional, you're doing it as a hobby, you're doing it for the love of it, your kids are helping you do it, you know that way. That's what I wanted to use the flowery fun group for you know that way it's for people so, that love flowers it's for people that love flowers exactly so whether it is stuff in your own garden there is no right or wrong way of like making the arrangements you can basically do whatever you want so please like take advantage of that group and work away and feel free and don't kind of feel oh god somebody's going to say this is terrible you know that way it's not that type of a group at all like even in the group with my own students i don't give like if they were in the bloom room with me and there was something that was needed to be said, I'd probably say to them, listen, your flares are too close or not tall enough or the wrong shades or the wrong colours or the wrong shapes. And I would give, you know, that way, feedback and critique on their arrangements. But in the bloom room, that's not what it's about. You know, that way. Julia's so saying she never knew you could use monstera leaves like that. 
on YouTube, Julie, we actually have a conditioning video on um, Monstera as well. And maybe if Sinead is watching, so Sinead is our virtual assistant over in Scotland. And normally what she does for us is she posts up the links, you know, that way. So we do have a treatment of the Monstera. So Sinead, maybe when she gets a chance, she'll post that. I'm going to turn this around to you now in a second, Julie. So what I've done is I've just kind of like grouped three of the Monstera kind of coming downwards on an angle. So just turn that around to you there. I probably could have done the turntable, but I didn't want it to be up too high. Yeah, you would have been too high if you had it. So that's yeah. why I have to kind of like leave it down low. Gemma just wants to know how does she join the Flurry Fun Group. Just request it's on and facebook it's on facebook yeah Sinead might put the link here the well, she's on um, Gemma's actually asking on instagram so all right so it is a facebook page Gemma and um just to kind of keep out the hackers because you know the one selling the rolex watches and the viagra there's a couple of questions and it's basically where are you from we couldn't care less where you're from but it just kind of gets rid of the hackers and uh, what's your favorite flower you can say cauliflower if you want to <laughs> and how did you find the group you know what i mean you can just say on instagram like you know what i mean they're not it's not that it just as i said normally the hackers don't answer these questions and it just makes it easier for us so again you can see as i said that's just a kind of a few kind of groups of the monster leaf coming out to one side now what I'm going to do is with our cordial lines, okay, and again I'm cutting these kind of on an angle, I'm going to bring a group of the cordial leaf out to one side. And just kind of cut the end of it kind of on like a dagger kind of a shape and you'll be able to stick them in. And bring some of them kind of like back in the arrangement like as I'm doing here and then bring some of them forward. And I'm not kind of trying to create any sort of particular shape, you know the way, I'm just going to move that monster leaf there. Paula says it? that looks amazing already but Lucia wants to know Jeanette what's written on your neck. What's written on my neck? Well, my husband thinks I'm a... <laughs> <laughs> so you work it out yourself. I actually ordered this online, I did. I thought it was just brilliant. And I bought one for Deirdre and I bought one for Sinead. And they actually arrived this morning, they did. So I'm not sure if any of you follow Nadine Reid. Nadine Reid, uh, she's the black girl that would have been on Expose and TV3. And she was in the newspaper yesterday. And she was on Ireland AM on yesterday Ireland morning. AM yesterday morning. You know the way she's... As she's mad, probably watching. She's, she's our buddy. Yeah. She is. She's mad. But she was uh, working, collaborating with a company up in Donegal. So um, this is an Irish company. And they actually do... Now, I could have this wrong. So, I, you know what I mean? Nadine, if me. you're watching, correct us. Yeah, correct me. But Margaret O'Connor is the name of the company in Donegal. So maybe if she's watching, she might correct me. But she does a range of clothes. And I've seen Nadine, like, wearing... I pronounce it a barrette. People pronounce it a beret. Or, you know, like what the French people wear. You know them sort of little hats. And it has the word ride going across it. So it's obviously a range of clothes. And um, beautiful scarves and that. You know, I'd say, like, anybody that wants the present for obviously somebody in Ireland as well but maybe somebody outside Ireland like the stuff is real Irish Donegal Irish designer yeah. Nadine is on the beach like wearing them and it's very kind of flamboyant but she had the necklaces you know the way and I just love the necklace so it's actually the brand of clothing now I could be wrong and it's called Ride so I, oh is it a brand of clothing that's, yeah that's, oh I didn't yeah. realise that oh, oh did you not no, no, not? no oh, I didn't yeah. seriously <laughs> I mean, you it was just being dirty yeah <laughs> So I just loved the necklace and they have, it's gold plated it is and they weren't that expensive I actually got because I bought three of them so they weren't that expensive and they have them in silver and rose gold as well. The Tim Smith Cordial line is a little bit brown so um, I don't know, Sinead might find the link for it and she might put them up or Margaret O'Connor if you're watching, you know what I mean and again I could have it wrong about the, the hats and the scarves or whatever but I think that was, I just... I just wasn't interested in that and the scarf. It was the necklace I loved. And it was, I seen Nadine wearing it and I just went mad about it. <laughs> and I um, decided to treat me two sisters to one yeah. as well. So there's, there's one in the post, one for everyone in the audience. No, there's not. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, Jeanette, don't say things like that. Okay, I'm just going to turn this around to you now again, just to kind of give you an idea, you know, that way. So again, it is a little bit contemporary, you know, that way. Um, you could use the flax leaves. I was planning on using flax leaves, but Deirdre forgot to could bring them down. So as I said, the cordyline leaves do the same job. And often like when I have students on the class and we use bare grass quite a lot and they haven't got bare grass, I'm always saying to them, just strip up the cordyline. Can you see what I'm doing here? Like, you know what I mean? Now these are my real nails. If I had the false nails, I'd find this much easier. 
but you were waiting on all the nail companies to open. But can you see the way you can kind of like shred it up and you can make like, I'm going to say bear grass, you know, like decorative grasses yourself. And you can do the exact same thing with the cord line as well. So that's what, it, or sorry, with the black cement to say. So that's just how you can strip it up if you want kind of like thinner little bits or like to make like loops with the grasses. You've seen me doing this like on our other classes before. Bronte says she loves it. Um, she says she always says, go big or go home. <laughs> I'm going to add in a couple of stems of lilies, okay? I might kind of turn it this way yeah, like that yeah. you can see. Now again, as I said, we're keeping it very informal, do you know the way? Very relaxed, like there is no numbers. I want you to just kind of cut the flowers and stick them into it and maybe just go a little bit wilder than normal. So just while you're doing that, um, we might um, do the competition, Jeanette, for okay. the wreath, the door wreath the making door course. Wreath. So what's the question going to be? Oh um, Jesus, what's the question going to be? What about what's wrote on my necklace? Yes, yeah, so what's the name of the okay. clothing? What's, Margaret what's the name of the clothing range or like what do you all like now obviously I'm thinking motorbikes and horses and all the rest you know what I mean but sure there's nothing like a good ride on a motorbike isn't that right Deirdre that's absolutely so correct so that's wrote yeah. on my necklace and again we'll just pick random and if somebody has something funny to say you never know we could pick two winners isn't that right well so seeing it to be birthday today. I'm feeling a bit generous and everyone generous everyone is wishing me a happy birthday oh, isn't that nice isn't that nice so these lilies had quite a lot of heads on them and again I was on twice during the week showing these lilies and people might say God how old are they? How many days would you think these lilies are? Okay, obviously I can't wait for you all to answer so I'm just going to tell you. But these came in on our Saturday night delivery. So you can see like they're a good six days old at this stage and there still is plenty of buds you see still to open. And the great thing is if you kind of find that there's a head that's maybe a little bit too blown, it's just a matter of cutting it off. You know the way you can discard it if you want to and you still have plenty of heads on it. The scent of these is absolutely amazing. And again, if you were watching me yesterday and the day before on the Facebook page, I actually showed like removing the pollen from them. So all the pollen has probably and hopefully been removed off all these lilies. Now again, on our YouTube channel, we have some tutorials on treatment of lilies. So what I might get Sinead to do is maybe post it in the comments below Sinead and then if anybody is interested and they want to like watch a tutorial on treatment of the lilies, you're more than more than welcome. Do you want to be something to say? No, 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 no. I'm just watching the all the um, comments that are coming in that are, yeah, lots of them. Ah, that's good. The right one, the right, the right, the right, the right word. The right, they're using the right word. They're using the right word. They're using the right word. Um, bespoke flowers wants to know what's the variety of that lily. These are just, I just picked them as oriental. Um, I'd actually have to look up the exact variety for you. And you're probably saying, Jesus, as the flowers, you think she'd know the answer. But should I never always know the answer? You know, that way you're always kind of learning. So I can look it up for you. And what I'll do is I'll post it in the comments afterwards because it's actually pinned to the pin board, the invoice from this delivery. So I will look it up for you, but they are absolutely fabulous. And as I said, like, look at the amount of heads that's on them. Now, I'm not doing this for an order or for an event or whatever, but imagine you haven't made this arrangement maybe about Monday or Tuesday and the customer got at that stage, because I'm always saying that to the students, you send out the arrangement with the lilies closed, maybe one of them open, another way, and it's the customer is the one who gets the pleasure of watching all the flowers open. So again, say Friday, so they got the arrangement last Monday or Tuesday, again Friday, this is what they're looking at, you know, all the flowers fully open, and there still is a good few days, you know what I mean, we probably get up to next Wednesday, and maybe a little bit more out of some of the buds, you know the way, so it works out absolutely great value it does. Again, with any of these thicker stems, it's really important that you cut the flare on that 45 degree angle, and that was something we posted during the week on a video, again, on why you cut flares on a 45 because people are always asking us, like, why do you do it? You just do it for the sake of it. No, don't just do it for the sake of it. There's a reason why you do it. Just turn that around. Just, just give okay. us a look there Sorry, before you. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. There we yeah. go. Just to let you know. So yeah. I'm kind of working my way kind of down through it. And you can see the way I'm stepping forward a little bit. Do you know that way? And again, just to kind of give it a little bit of a 3D effect. And I am inserting the flowers quite far down into the floral foam. Do you know that way? Because again, if you had to transport this arrangement. Now, are they able to look this sideways? Are they? Yeah. So just with this particular flower, I just want to turn that sideways a little bit more. Can you see the way I'm slightly angling it this way? A mistake people make is they put it in straight, okay? As you work down lower in your floral,
floral arrangements. If you start kind of working slightly out on an angle like that and just hitting something there, what happens is immediately it brings your arrangement, you see just that little bit for forward, and it stops your arrangement looking flat looking. So that's just a little trick to kind of be aware of, because a lot of people, they just keep sticking everything up into the air, or they keep it that all the flowers are like wall flowers, they're all along the wall, you know, like along the back. So don't be afraid to step forward, step forward, step forward. That was a little jiggy dance, by the way. <laughs> when you're making your flower arrangements. I'm turning it back around to me. Here um, to see how I'm going. I think Etna said it would be the Casablanca. It could be. And I've actually just it's looked at the invoice, Jeanette, but these were the ones that he sent us out as a present. Oh, right. Oh, <laughs> this was another present for your birthday, wasn't it? No, from Hoek. We, yeah. We actually have, we have the Celosia ordered. And um, again, I was just doing a design. And I went through the box of flowers and I was saying, God, like, where's the Celosia? It was missing. And then I seen a bunch of lilies. I hope Hoek is not listening to this because he's probably going to fucking charge me for the lilies now. <laughs> and I said, Jesus, there's a bunch of lilies. We didn't order lilies. So it ended up that these were actually in the box instead of the Celosia. Now, on the bill, we were charged for the Celosia. The lilies probably would have been a little bit dearer, but I never told No, Frank. no, we said Oh, nothing. Frank's not listening. <laughs> <laughs> or Reuben. Reuben Howick, he usually chews. We choose, choose. rapper, we were to say, Jesus, them little <laughs> shitty ones there. So again, I'm just stepping my way kind of like down in the arrangement. And again, I'm just going to come out that little bit wider. Like it's not, again, your typical triangle arrangements. You know that way? It's not really kind of, and it's just kind of like an informal design. And it would be ideal like for hotels, for events, for churches, for weddings. Again, I'm just going to turn it around to you there in a second just to let you know. And I have got some ferns and asparagus to add into this as well. You know what I mean? As I work along, just in case you think I'm finished with the foliage. I'm not finished with the foliage. Now again, with this stem, I'm going to go in kind of on a bit of a funny angle, kind of like down here, and like let the flowers stick out slightly, just on our right hand side. Eileen Brennan says every Friday it's an apps, it's a it's a comedy ride. <laughs> I think she deserves a course. Dancing as well. Okay. What, what, who was it again? I can't remember the name you called it. What did there. I just call out? Now, um, also I'm during the week, we were using um, Proteus, okay? And again, I'm just going to try and include some Proteus in this arrangement. Now, they have massive, massive thick stems. But these can last up to a month, they can. You know that way? And you know the way when the arrangement was greened up, now it's not completely greened up, and you just kind of liked it at that stage. You know what I mean? You thought it was nice. Well, imagine when all the lilies are dead, and you pulled out all the lilies, that you'd still have the foliage, because that foliage will last for ages, and you would have the proteas. So over on the left-hand side of the arrangement, that's where I'm going to work on here, is I'm going to bring in a group of the proteas. I'm just going to turn it around to me for a second. Now... Well um, they're all actually commenting on your dancing, Jeanette. They love dancing. I says I must. Um, the anyone that's on module three at the moment, if you've got to the hoop. <laughs> <laughs> when we were doing the tutorials and sometimes so we were doing um, a floral hoop for the obviously our bridal courses you know that way and of course I started kind of going like this you know the way like you know as a kid the hula hoop am I doing it right yeah <laughs> and of course years were put it on a boomerang you know what I mean and kept playing it over and over and over again as you of course put it into the tutorial but I didn't know about it of course obviously I'm talking to the students every day and they're all in knots of laughing about the floral hoop and I'm saying what are they all talking about but it was me doing me me hula hoop, me jives. That's the only bit of moves I have. I'm the worst dancer in the world. Now, I need to look at this while I'm doing because I am going to be going through the leaves. So what I'm going to do is, you know, some of the monstera leaf has holes in it already, but I'm going to use the blade of the scissors and I'm going to pierce down through. As soon as I have it done, I'll turn it around to you, okay? But I'm piercing down through the leaves, okay? And that just allows me then that I can kind of ease this stem through the leaves, okay? So it's a bit like, um, I often say to my classes, it's like being a gynecologist, you know, the way you're feeling your way through that hole there, the hole of the leaf, obviously, right? And we're hoping for the best, and we're hoping that we give birth, but the birth here is that our protea worked through it. So that was a very successful birth, by the way. No <laughs> stitches needed, you know, the way, pain relief not required. And now what I'm going to do is like slightly above that there, I'm going to bring a second protea, I could have done with my secretaries here, okay? I haven't got the secretaries. So again, just cutting these on a sharp, you can kind of see, point, removing any of the leaves. The, well, that, I was going to say these leaves are gorgeous. That particular one I took off is not that gorgeous. 
But the leap on the protea is fabulous. And again, I'd often say to the students, like if you were using them in weddings, you could use these leaves in your buttonholes, you know that way? And again, they're a really hardy leaf and there'd be no need to wire them. But if you wanted to wire them, you could stitch them with a silver wire. So I'm just going to come in behind, I'll turn it around to you now in a second. I'm kind of setting down into the arrangement behind that protea and I'm sitting that second one kind of back there. And now again, I'm not finished. Just to let you see how that is working out. I'm not mad about that one, that, that lily that's on the left-hand oh, side. okay. Right. Yes, boss. Okay. It actually, I think, has moved. Yeah, I think it, it has, okay, yeah. It has moved a little bit. Yeah. So we'll take that out. Because, listen, it's sure, listen. It's, it's live TV. Yeah. This is live TV. And sure, if something goes wrong, I'm fucked, as they say. You know what I mean? <laughs> and sure, I just have to try and make it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it over to the other corner of the arrangement. And um, just that leaf is getting damaged from every time I turn it around. So I'm just going to take it out for a second. Because, as I said, I probably have done with the turntable. Let's see, can I just bring it up a little bit higher so that it's not... Um, I'm just afraid that the end of it is just going to get bashed to bits, okay? Now, because I've removed that one, I probably need another protein. So again, we get another one. As you can see, they don't come as really, really long stems. You know that way, like you're never going to get really long stems on them. And I'm just going to bring another one kind of back there. So again, we'll cut this. How are they going to come? Are you designing this, Jeanette? I'm designing this one. But as I said, and again, you can do your secretaries. As I just say to the students, she are making it up as you go along. And I'll be completely honest. Yes, I am making it up as I go along. And, and I'm hoping for the best. So here we are working away. And again, thank God I have this jumbo foam. There's absolutely no way you would get away with using like your normal floral foam, like put together, you know what I mean? For this type of design. Now I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna turn it around. Come around, give, give us a look. Because I have another little bit Oh yeah, no, that's yeah. So I'm gonna bring more lilies kind of like trailing down just kind of on this end here. So that way I'm gonna work upwards into the floral foam. So I have a nice stem here. There's actually a little bit of the pollen still on there. So I'll just kind of pull that off with the tops of your fingers. I must have missed that one. So we just pull them off there. We plenty of buds, so that's going to open up. Again, we can cut that a little bit shorter and I'm going to work upwards into the foam. And again, you'll find with that jumbo foam, I'm going to cut a bit shorter. You're able to do that with normal foam. You probably wouldn't get away with it. So again, up into our floral foam, slightly on an angle. I was lucky enough there wasn't a leaf in the way and it worked for me there. Now I do need a little bit of weight on the right hand side behind the proteus. So I'll probably add in another little bit of the monstera leaf. So again, we'll turn it back around. I know I want to add fern, but the fern is not going to be heavy enough over that side. Or actually, do you know what I have is my um, fatty leaves, just to give us something different. Now with fatty leaves, what I did was I wired them. Okay, I have a little bit of red robin as well. So. At the back of the, can they see that in the camera there? Yeah, yeah, so at yeah, the yeah. back of the leaf, you can see there where I stitched it with a 20 gauge wire and I wrapped the wire around the stem. And what that makes it possible is, I'll just move this over to one side here, is that you're able to kind of like curve your leaf, you know, that way. So if you have, a, um, just looking for one that's not done, okay? So this one is quite big. And as I said, these are the fatsies out of the garden. So they're not as healthy. If there's any horticultural cultural people watching, can you just pass me the 20 gauge wires? Yeah. Uh, so, so you were just saying you could do it a Lazy Susan. Well, we would use the table, but it's just too it high. It just comes up too high for the videos. You see, the Deirdre can only catch in so high up. Here at the school, I use them all the time. Do you know that way? But it's just for the videos. And the YouTube, she has to go sideways. And the Facebook and the Instagram, she has to go portrait so it's just trying to facilitate that we catch everything on camera like if you're on youtube you actually see a lot more of what's happening in the rest of the room than you do when you're actually on instagram just to let except you know. it's a bit blurry today yeah it's a bit blurry back. today probably is just as well because the room is in a stay here <laughs> so just at the back of the leaf is that you can do like a little stitch you see around that vein and then pull your two pieces of wire down and hold them around the stem of the leaf and then is to wrap one piece of wire around the other piece of wire and around the stem at the same time to secure. And it just gives you the option then that you're able to curve to see the leaf and hold it in place. What's happening there? Barony McKiernan says, Jeanette would make a good gynecologist because she's able to stitch. <laughs> Absolutely, I tell you, and do I know about stitching? <laughs> if you remove the lilies and the rest of the arrangement is okay, should you place something should you place something in place any suggestions well you could if you want to but as i said like normally like say a customer would have got it as a present and they would not know about inserting more flowers so it'd be kind of more like when stuff is dead that they're taking out the dead flowers and it was just that they're kind of left with something else in the arrangement i'm not saying it's going to be the most gorgeous perfect arrangement but like you've seen at the beginning when i just had the foliage and the twigs in 
And okay, it wasn't gorgeous. You know what I mean? But it looked quite. Well, and actually, they all, there was, was lots possible. of comments on it. That it yeah. wasn't really just so as that was. Yeah. So you can try and visualise that just to fold it and just a couple of proteas. And that was really more what I was kind of saying is that from the customer point of view, that they would actually get good value. So again, I'm just bringing out a group of the fascia leaves. You know what I mean? Out to one side of the arrangement, and it's adding the little bit of weight that I wanted over there. Now I do have some ferns as well. So um, and again. Fun. Guys, these are doing really well. Most of these are sharing it really well for my birthday. But I'd love a few more shares. Okay, so I need us all to start clicking share, okay? Get shared out there. So just during the week, because we were on a bridal class, we had a lot of asparagus ferns. So I'm just kind of bringing some ferns lightly down through this arrangement. Again, it probably wouldn't be the most typical foliage that you would use with lilies, but it just happens that I have it. And again, I was saying to the students, anybody that has um, space in their bathroom, everybody has space in their bathroom, is buy an asparagus plant for the bathroom. It thrives on it. You know what I mean? The moistness of the bathroom, it absolutely thrives on it. And um, you'd always have a little bit of fur and you could just go up then when you're having a shower and you could cut yourself off a few little bits of the sprigs of asparagus and then you could add them into your range. And have a little bit more in to add, but again, just to let you see That's the touch, lovely. to see like what the asparagus has done on that side. And again, if you get me the stapler, Deirdre, I'm going to show them how to curl a little bit of the... Um, What's it called? The cord line. Yeah. Now this is also, let me just check the staplers in it for me. This is also a little bit of the Ming fern, okay? So that's just another variety. And again, just to give me a little bit of softness over here where our, um, the fatsy leaves are and where our proteas are. So just kind of coming on top there, just with a little bit of softness. And it'll just complement the, kind of like the, the velvety touch in the, you, like when you look at the protea for such a big, big flower, you know that way? And then like when you feel the inside, it's so soft, I swear to God, it's like velvet. It's nearly like, um, kind of, I don't know how you, but it's exactly like, like flock, velvet. yeah. Like, you know that way? Uh, Life at number two says about the plants in the garden, uh, in the bathroom, because I have been following him for those. Oh, well, what do you look, what do they look like? Like I kill a lot of plants. <laughs> You definitely have to go over to life at number two. What he has in his bathroom are all IKEA plants, artificial ones, but they look amazing, they do. And he actually does a little tutorial on like preparing them and organizing them. So maybe Paul, Paul Kin Paul Kins Paul Kinsley, yeah. Yeah. And um, if you put up the link to your page, and again, some of the girls and boys over here will pop over and just follow your page. Like he's And he's starting a new website as well, so That's he's gonna right, have on DIY, DIY top and tips, tips yeah. and hacks. Yeah. Right, so last week I was watching you Paul removing all the um What's oh, the stuff the, around the shower. Around the shower. I'd love him to come I and do mine. What it's called the white mastic. mastic, the mastic stuff that does look disgusting. Like mine is. Oh my god! Only it's at my own shower when I get into it. But it's absolutely it's rotten looking. Do you know that way? Even though it's supposed to be clean. But he had a great little tip with a little tool. I think he got it in Mr. Price and removing it and so on. And he done a step by step how to replace it. So um, I'm going to send him I out. think he should do another video and I come and do should. mine. I think he should. And <laughs> when I was more thinking he should come and do mine, he could. <laughs> and um, I'd be more than, well, you're more than welcome to come to my house and video my disgusting um, bathroom <laughs> and do it for your, your website. So what I've just done over that side there is I brought out, can you see the Ming Fern in between the proteas there? And again, just a softness. There's no particular shape to this design. As I said, it's not like we're making a triangle arrangement or a vertical or like, it is kind of slightly contemporary because I grouped things. So again, just bring that one over there, a little bit more to the side, you know, that way, kind of in there. Now, did you get me I'll the go on, Yeah, it's there in front of you. Olga wants to know what does it say on your top. Perfectly imperfect, Perfectly Olga. Perfectly imperfect, and that is exactly me, Olga. You know that way, you know me, I'm always the same. Okay, I'm going to call it all. winners. I was very generous. Were well, you very generous? Yeah, we have quite a few. So can, well, you can see what I'm doing here, is I'm bending over to see the top of the cordelai leaf, okay? And then just catching that one on the inside. And then using your stapler, is you can put one or two staples in place. And what it does, it kind of makes these little curls. And you can make them any size. It's even possible to bend it back like that, just this one's not going to be tall enough. A double one on it. And it gives like a little bit of movement in the arrangement. And just on the side where I have the spikes there, I'm just going to add in one or two of them, just kind of down behind that protea. So it still is the cord line, but this one, I would have preferred that one to be a little bit longer. But sure, listen, that's what happens when you're doing the live class. Doesn't um, it? Marie Brogan says, um, her husband says your top is lovely. He watches it, yeah, every Friday with Does he her. Does me necklace? <laughs> 
Uh, let me see. Um, absolutely absolute fabulous, absolute. ladies. Um, they're loving it. Very happy birthday. Oh, oh, yes. Happy birthdays. Can't believe how stunning that's turned out, and it's not overly expensive. Um, it's actually not over. Well, the, the proteas well, would be expensive. The proteas would be expensive. The only thing is, you'd, you'd get good value with them. Do you know the way? So I'll just show you there, just by bringing out them, kind of like two loops over that side. And I'd like something here. So I think maybe a little bit, maybe more fern, maybe coming out to this side. She will try it and she will see. She, that's the great thing. You can do whatever you want. You know the way? I had a little bit of the red robin. And um, I just think this one's going to be a bit too long. I had a bit of the red robin, and um, again, we just took that out of our own garden, but I don't think I need it. I was going to use it as kind of a compliment and kind of picking up the, the pinks, you know, that way. But um, I'm actually leaving it out altogether. I'm liking the kind of the green. So as David said, yeah, I am. I'm making it up as I go along. <laughs> so over to one side, I'm just letting a little bit of this asparagus fern just kind of like trail out of the arrangement there. And when this is up on a taller stand, you know the way, which I'll probably clear the table now in a few minutes, I'm just going to bring another little bit of twig down. And you know me for clearing the table, the magic bin, and I have got a bin here, right, just in case you're thinking. And some of these are probably saying, Jesus, all that green we got into the bin. We got all that for nothing. That's all the um, red robin out of Deirdre's garden. And she's absolutely <laughs> loads of it she has. Marie says, I can't say what he said about your necklace. <laughs> Does he want one? Not a necklace now. <laughs> Listen, keep it clean, keep it clean. It's only half 11 in the morning or whatever time in the morning it is. So what I'm just doing with a couple of this bit of twig is I'm cutting some of it a little bit shorter and I'm bringing it kind of like through the arrangement. Do you remember I said to you about the kind of the 3D effect, like not to leave everything just at the back wall. Can you see the way I've just stepped that little bit of twig kind of forward in the arrangement and just like kind of feel maybe to the sides, just an extra little bit. I'm wrecking the place here I am because it is quite heavy, you know what I mean? Try to turn around. So I just want to get another little bit of width. So I'm just going to come out on either side with an extra little bit. So we lose this one here. This one's a bit skinnier. I think this is all I, all of the twig I have anyway. But still, it'll be grand. It'll be grand. It'll be all right on the night. Feel me way in there. Okay, while well, you're doing me... that, can I call out my winners? Why well, you call out your winners? Okay, so the winners of the the Christmas wreath. I was going to say Christmas the wreath. the door wreath making course. I think there's four or five door wreaths on it. Is the first one is Pamela Falds. F A U L D S. I think she is I think a past she student. Before that name is, yeah. The name is familiar. So maybe Pamela Falls. Um, perfect. Email us. Email us. Don't message us. Email us for because we have to yeah. send you a code and we need your email address. So info at flareschoolireland.com. Any of the winners that dear just calling out. Um, Michelle Doyle, you're a winner. Maisie Blooms in Clonmel, you're a winner. Uh, perfect Petals by Angela, it's you're a winner. Elaine Brennan. Jesus, you're really feeling generous today. How many winners did you pick out? Elaine Brennan, you're a winner. And Anne McManus, you're on YouTube. Uh, you're a winner as well. Ah, fair play to so, you all. Big, big congratulations. Huge thanks to Deirdre now for giving out all them prizes. And um, all you have to do is email us and then we'll send you the link, like, you know what I mean, the code. Because to get into our online courses, we need your email address so that you can download the course. Um, and just for everybody else that didn't win, if you want to go on, you can use the code REATH100. Sinead put the code in the comments. REATH, W-R-E-A-T-H, 100. And that'll give you 100 euro off. 100 the... euros? Oh, Jesus, you're really Look at... generous. How many, how many happy birthday wishes did you get today? I got loads. I Are got you loads. looking for a... <laughs> On a motorbike. <laughs> on a motorbike. No, I'd actually prefer a horse. A horse. <laughs> I prefer a horse then. You can I get me a horse. I'm on relief over this side. And like, again, with normal floral foam, there's no way I would have been able to get all that in. So I'm going to clean my table again. I'm going to get myself a turntable. So sorry while I just move out of the way. There we go. Push that over there. Bring that up there on top. Imagine the second thing fell over on me here. Don't be saying that. There we go. Now okay. I need a little bit of filling in at the back. So I'll probably use um, the feckin' red robin that's gone out in the bin. <laughs> I didn't keep it bit of greenery back for covering in the back of the arrangement. So they won't see it, Jeanette. Piece, they won't they see won't it. See There's it. no L ones in the but other I bed here. I always say to the students, always look after the L one in the other bed. This is not completely finished in. Because if this went to a hospital, there'd be some hospital arrangement, can you imagine? But the poor L one in the other bed has to look at the back of the arrangement. So all that's not covered in completely. Always cover in the back of the arrangement. So there we go. So there's our kind of like loose, half contemporary, half wild, half made up as you go along. Using, I have two stems of lilies left, so there's eight stems of lilies in that. Three proteas, couple of the monstera leaves. But listen, you can substitute the leaves 
for laurel or wild ivy out of your own garden. A little bit of the cordyline leaf, which again you could use flax leaf. The twigs, but again you could just leave it the cordyline leaves coming up there at the top. The fern, I just added it in because I had it, you know what I mean? To be honest, you know what I mean? It's absolutely, it wasn't necessary at all. And you're all going to buy an ivy plant, or not an ivy plant, a fern plant, and you're going to put it up in your bathroom. Geraldine Kelly's Kelly asking, can you show the floral foam we use? We haven't got another block button. Um, haven't got one handy. No. Um, is there one on the blog button about under Oasis? Actually, there might be, yeah, yeah, yeah. There if might you go be. to our blog on our website, Geraldine, flowerschoolirelands.com, click on the blog button there's loads and loads of tutorials there and like one of them will be all about oasis and it'll show you like the biodegradable oasis the dry oasis the normal oasis and the agri wool is not on the it the agri wool is not on it okay because obviously it wasn't out when i was doing them tutorials but it'll be on that website eventually i'll add in um the agri wool tutorials and again this was the arrangement here, you probably can see it. But again, anybody, you know no, what I mean? That I'm was have the to one turn it this way. There you yeah. go. And so my that, bouquet is in there too. Okay. <laughs> that was the one that I did using the agro wool. Um, and I, at the very beginning, I gave so, a little bit of a, yeah. a talk about the agro wool. But as I said, we have lots, lots more information to add to that. Oh, so, um, Maureen Fitzgibbon says, Fabulous arrangement, Protea is the national flower of South Africa. Oh, I didn't know that. There, there you go. go. Absolutely. Is she from South Africa? I don't know. She didn't say. Once again, beautiful arrangement, good crack, loved it. Um, lovely arrangement, stunning, so don't elegant. To win the, uh, oh, that was actually somebody asked. No, also, just somebody asked me how did they use the code. On our website, you go to the online flower school. Um, there's standalone courses and you'll see the wreath course there, the door wreath course. Sinead might post it in the link or I'll post it on the page later on and use the code wreath100 and that'll give you 100 euro off. Um, so Sinead will actually repost that all up for you. Yeah. Follow. And any problems, any questions, just drop us an email, info at flareschoolireland.com. And anybody that wants to win the saint Tropez self tanning kit, remember the bag I showed you at the very beginning? We need you to enter on Instagram. So go over to either my Instagram or Deirdre's Instagram page, and you can just tag somebody, you can say something nice, you can tag 11 PR events, because huge thanks to Emma for dropping the prize over to us, or you can tag Saint-Tropez if you want it. We don't really mind, you know the way. You can tag and you can say whatever you want, and we'll just probably randomly pick a winner. We won't do it till Monday, and we'll give people a chance that are not watching us on Instagram that they can pop over over the weekend and they can enter that if they so wish. So okay. I think that was nice. Oh, Elder, Elderwood Weddings Decor is on. She said she really enjoyed it. I and then her hubby just called me to move the cattle. I'm back now. What did I miss? <laughs> Miss. I'd say, was he looking for a on the <laughs> tractor? <laughs> there he is. Him, Did you ever get a ride? Did you ever get a ride? Did you ever get a ride on the tractor? <laughs> Did you ever get a hole? Did you ever get your hole? Did you ever get your whole week's wages? <laughs> I can okay. go on. I, I think can go on. Cut. I think it's time to cut now. Cut the show. Listen, see us all next week, eleven o'clock for the live class. Really enjoyed having us here. Hope you enjoyed the class. Sorry if my singing put you off. <laughs> <laughs> me dancing and me singing. I think I should. I think I should be. Um, what was your one? Maureen Potter yeah. and the Olympic. Um, listen, see us all during the week, and thanks a million for joining us. And don't forget to click share. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, everybody, go and click share there before you sign up. Goodbye, good luck, have a fabulous day, and enjoy the sun over the weekend. No, she's now didn't get a ride on the tractor. <laughs>